Rail video. With only less than 10 days left until Honkai Star Rail drops, I'm very excited and I want to get to talking about the game more. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the different elements and different effects they have. Plus, I'm also going to somewhat rank them. I'm not going to have a tier list in this video, but I will give my opinions on what I think is the best element. If you guys want a tier list, I am probably going to make one regardless if you guys say yes or no. But let me know in the comments. Um, I might make it before the game comes out. We'll see. So first off, let's talk about the main point of weaknesses right if you've played rpgs before you'll know that some weaknesses do more damage sometimes they get additional effects in honkai star rail weaknesses are based off of something called toughness when the enemy's toughness reaches zero you'll get weakness break um, when this is triggered the enemy will take more damage and it delays their action so if an enemy has an icon that they're weak to let's say fire or ice and you use a fire or ice attack the meter above their hp will go down once it's zero they do more, they take more damage and their action is delayed you can use this to either just do more damage in general or if a really strong enemy is about to kill let's say your healer obviously you hit him with some attacks and then it delays his action and you can maybe heal up maybe do more damage to kill him whatever it may be it is a very useful and pretty much mandatory mechanic um i'm telling you i would not beat some of these harder fights also for the fact that i had multiple elements on my team sometimes you do get unlucky because only having four characters can limit you if the enemy is just not weak to it but luckily when you're outside of battle you can see what they're weak to so let's talk about what elements are in the game so there are a total of seven there are imaginary quantum lightning fire wind ice and physical i know physical is technically not an element but if you go into the in-game tutorials um it'll have all the elements next to weakness break and then the element and physical is on that list so i'm just going to technically count it um Unfortunately, with elements, if you've played Genshin Impact, you'll know that elements are very, very, very important. And certain elements, such as Cryo, are really OP with paired with something like Hydro. Unfortunately, how good an element is in this game, I mean, some elements are better than other elements, but it's mostly based on the characters for example i think lightning is one of the better elements because in the game there's a four star who buffs lightning damage um, considering not other elements have that lightning kind of has an edge on it so you may be wondering what do these elements do so for physical when you break their toughness it'll add a bleed effect dealing physical dot which dot is damage over time pretty much when it goes to their turn or whatever they take a little bit of additional damage if you played pokemon it's like poison um i believe in genshin they have a dot when you hit them with fire attacks some enemies in genshin also do dot with like a mist effect i'm referring it to genshin because it's very similar it's very obvious that the team working on this also worked on genshin but let's go into the next element, which is ice. Now, ice is a little bit special because most of the elements do the same exact thing, unfortunately. However, ice deals DOT and immobilizes the enemy. Pretty much what that does is if the enemy is going to attack and they're frozen, they are going to have to wait, slows them down. I've noticed that sometimes they're frozen and they don't attack and other times they're frozen and their action is delayed they break free and then they attack i'm not too sure if it's some other effect that i've done at the time but delaying their action regardless is very nice and i do like ice a bit better than the elements other elements because of that however the same cannot be said for the rest of the elements there's a reason i said that they're rather similar so with physical doing bleed dot you have wind doing wind shear effect dealing wind dot and then you have fire applying burn which is fire dot and then you have a lightning which inflicts shock which deals lightning dot now as of recording this i personally have not seen anything if it's out there let me know in the comments because you know i may be a content creator but content creators can be wrong i've not seen anything that 
does additional effects if they're under different DOTs. From what I've seen, it all it does is for lightning, fire, wind, physical, and technically ice, even though ice has an additional effect, all they do is the basic weakness break effect plus they do their element DOT. If there is an effect that has, let's say, shock when you deal lightning DOT, if let's say a character's passive is like, oh, when the enemy is under shock, do additional damage or this character has an additional effect. I haven't seen that yet. There, it could be out there. It could come to the game eventually, but I've not seen anything of it. So at the time, it's just elemental DOT. However, Ice got lucky because it freezes. Same with Quantum and Imaginary. Quantum and Imaginary also have additional buffs. So they're going to be a little bit higher than the rest of the elements. Quantum implies the entanglement effect, which further delays the enemy's action more than a normal weakness breaks and deals quantum DOT. Not the craziest effect, sort of similar to ice, but still a very, very good effect. And then there is probably debatably the best element in my opinion, which is imaginary. Might be a bit biased because it's welt uh, <laughs> element and I kind of like welt, but Imaginary does the normal weakness breaks and implies imprisonment. Imprisoned enemies suffer from delayed action and their speed is reduced. So, other times when their action is delayed, they'll pretty much go back to just doing their normal job once their action is started. With Imaginary, once they get back around to doing their attack, their speed is lowered. So let's say you have three characters. You have Welt and your MC and then the enemy. If they have their speed reduction, normally they would attack before your main character, but well attacks before them. Now with the speed reduction, your MC attacks before the enemy, which could make or break if you're beating a challenge for a certain number of turns. If a character on your team would die because they can't get their heal off because they move before the enemy, whatever it may be insanely helpful do note though that imaginary doesn't get the dot damage so it technically does the worst damage out of all of them but i think that overall the reduction is better however in the future if there are enemies who are immune to dot or are immune to delayed actions or speed reduction definitely would switch up the listing now, personally, I do think that Imaginary is the best. Then going down the list, I'd say Quantum and Ice are tied. And then the rest of them are at the bottom. Not saying the characters on them are bad. In fact, I do think that the best element, not at launch because it is the second banner that we're going to be introduced to them, but I do think Lightning will probably be one of the better elements. For Imaginary, I'm pretty sure the only character is Welt, unless I'm missing someone. And as much as I love Welt, he doesn't do the most damage that I've seen. Obviously, I didn't have him fully built, but he wasn't doing anything crazy damage-wise. So until we get more characters, I do think Lightning will probably be the best just based on characters. But based on effects, I do think Imaginary, then Quantum, and Ice, and then the rest of them. Let me know in the comments what element you like the most, whether it be because of characters on it, whether the effect, whether, you know, my favorite color is red. I like fire. That's valid too. I understand that. Let me know in the comments though what your preferred element or favorite element is. And of course, let me know if you are excited to play Honkai Star Rail. Like I said, I will probably have an elemental tier list in the future going over the elements more closely and the characters on said element. But other than that, that'll pretty much be it for this Honkai Star Rail video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Honkai Star Rail content as we are going full force of the game, which is coming out in less than 10 days. But other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next Honkai Star Rail video.